Legend of the Iron Fleet Express here with my final word on the AAF as it would appear. Um, as of right now, let's talk about first what we know to be true. What we know to be true is that the AAF has suspended all football operations as of today. Um, the contracts are void for the players. They've been terminated from the league. They have cleared out their personal belongings from their facilities and they are no longer employed by the AAF. Uh, they stopped practice in, I think there's pictures of them stopping practice in San Antonio as well as in Orlando and Orlando had a couple of interviews with Steve Spurrier and a couple of players um, after they ended practice and told them the news. Uh, we know this to be true because, as I stated, there's evidence there. Also, Bill Polian has released a statement in regards to what happened, uh, that the players will be terminated today and the rest of the AAF employees will be terminated tomorrow. Um, just an unfortunate situation going on for this league. Um, we know that this was kind of a one-man decision with majority shareholder Tom Dundon making this decision. Uh, the rest of the league was kind of blindsided by it. Nobody else wanted this to happen. It just... Tom Dundon decided that this was what's going to happen and he's in charge um, after being purchasing the majority of shares for the um, AAF. So that's, that's what we do know. Um, rumors that are floating around is they are still looking for an investor to come in because they need $20 million to finish out the entire season all the way through the championship game. Um, and if that happens, you know, that'd be, that'd be cool, it'd be fun to watch. There might still be a chance for the AAF to um, recover after that. They, they'll have, you know, seven, eight months to figure it out there. Uh, the other rumor is that Tom Dundon made this decision after he gained access to the app technology um, that he wants to develop into a betting app. And once he got his hands on that, he folded everything and washed his hands of it so that he didn't have to deal with the AAF anymore because he got what he wanted. Um, the other rumor has it, the other rumor that has been thrown around is that Tom Dunnan has been working with the AA, excuse me, with the XFL, <coughs> um, the whole time and that he's been a Vince McMahon plant. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, the other and final rumor that I know of is that Dundon is already talking with the XFL about working with them, possibly using the app to develop it into a betting app for when the XFL kicks off. Like I said, these are all rumors. I'm just letting you know what I've heard, um, but I'm not going to give any opinion on it because I don't know what's true and what's not other than the fact that the players are no longer employed by the AAF and tomorrow nobody else will be either. Um, Polian is the only co-founder of the league that has made any announcement. Um, Emersol has not made an announcement at all about anything. So that's pretty pretty disheartening that he's silent on this. Uh, he might be like many of us and just in disbelief that this happened to something that seemed to be going fairly well. 
they were getting picked up by other new uh, other networks and they were getting more sponsors every week it seemed like there was a new sponsor for the games that were being aired and uh yeah i mean it was football in the spring people people were enjoying seeing football in the spring i know i was um the only thing that i really have to say from my end is a big thank you to everybody that put in so much hard work to bring this product to us for the last eight weeks um i i know how much work the players and coaches put in to getting prepared just to go out and play a competitive game to watch tape to scout your opponent to put together a game plan i know how much work that takes i mean it's a I do it at the high school varsity level, and it was a that in itself is over 40 hours a week of doing that between practice and watching uh, game film and reviewing previous game footage from your own team and putting together different packages and what's going to work against said team's offense or defense and developing new uh, blitz packages and line stunts and all this other stuff that goes into coaching football and prepping as a player um so i i just want to thank all the players and coaches uh nothing but the best for you guys moving forward you guys that are going to get another opportunity uh make the most of it you guys that aren't thanks for everything um, know that it was appreciated by the fans that watched uh, and for the people that were behind the scenes that made every week happen thank you for everything you did uh, it was it was fun while it lasted uh, this will be Legend of the Iron Fleet Express signing out God bless and uh, we'll see you around